Hello, class of 2020. I'm missing you. Um, this is the first time I've used this joke on myself, um, but I seriously and I, I, I really do miss you. Um, I really miss um, just seeing students in general. Um, as you can see, I am in a guidance office and this is in the middle of a school day. And what do you notice? It is completely empty. So last year during this time, um, this place would have been filled with primarily grade 12s sitting around, studying, chatting, having um, some uh, serious conversations perhaps with their guidance counselors. Um, it would have just been, you know, a lot more people, a lot more going on. Um, and I think during the pandemic, a lot of you can appreciate and recognize that um, it's a relationship and a connection with people that we really miss. Um, so even though graduation um, should be celebrating your achievements, um, I would like to encourage you to reflect on um, the friendships and the relationships you've built um, in the past four years. Um, and don't be a stranger. Um, I'm sure um, myself and all the other staff, um, when you think of us, um, please do reach out and um, send us an email. Um, we would love to hear from you. We would love to hear some updates to see how you're doing. Um, yeah, so I, I really do miss you and I really hope that you can keep in touch with us. Congratulations and all the best um, to your future. Hi, hi grads. I didn't get to formally say goodbye to you as you moved on to the, your next chapter in your life. So this is a formal goodbye and best wishes. I know you're doing amazing things out there in this new world that we have, but I miss you and I miss actually having closure. So I hope you're all having a wonderful time and taking every opportunity that you can and best of luck. Hello graduates. Um, this feels very strange to congratulate you from afar, but I couldn't let the opportunity go by without acknowledging all that you have done so far. Um, Here's the good news, my dears. You've made it through COVID in your graduating year. There are no challenges that you will not be able to overcome. I have every faith in you and what you can do, which is hopefully make the world a better place. Um, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm going to miss seeing you at prom. And for some of you look like you were newly born gazelle walking in your high heels for the very first time. I miss all of you, and I really hope that we find a way to connect. All right, stay safe. Bye. Congratulations. I miss you guys so much, and it's so nice to see you today. Well, what happened there? I want to thank you all for the memories and the talk and everything. I wish you the best. Have a wonderful education, wonderful life, and I love you all. Take care. How do I stop it? Hello, grads of 2020. This is a year to be remembered for many reasons, but that's not to take away from the fact that you have accomplished so much in the last four years and that it is a year to celebrate all of those accomplishments. I definitely miss so many of you who we didn't say a proper goodbye with but we definitely share those memories, those experiences together. And I want you to know that this building is always here. You are always a member of this school. And you can, of course, once things go back to normal, come and visit again. You are not forgotten. 
this is not goodbye. This is for sure a see you later. And I wish all of you, and maybe a little more to those music grads, a special shout out. I wish you guys nothing but the best. I'll see you later. Hi graduates. I just wanted to say congratulations. We've thought of all of you often in 2020 and remind you that the future is bright. Stay focused on your goals. Stay focused on what drives you. Good luck. My dear graduates, I hope this message finds you and your family well. My heartiest congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. You made it. Although we find ourselves amid an unprecedented time, this is your time to celebrate and enjoy this great moment of exceptional achievement and your milestone. A milestone such as this is to be remembered for decades to come. Our present reality is not how we envision the completion of your senior year, but I'm proud of everyone and what you have all accomplished in your four years of high school, especially with the added challenges of pandemic. Through all this massive uncertainty, the world remains there for you to change. You, as a future generation, have the power to change the world for the better. Remember, you are the graduating class of 2020. You have all learned to adapt and to overcome obstacles. You can do this. You got this. You're all amazing. You're all very strong. Stay positive. Remain safe. Good luck, all graduates. Thank you so much. Hi, grads. Mr. Conley here. I just wanted to wish you all the best. I'm, I'm sure you're doing great. It's a really different world out there now, but I'm sure you'll rise to the occasion. Hi everyone, it's Miss Matt here. I just wanted to check in and see how you are all doing. I know some of you are attending university, some are at college, some of you might be working and maybe you've decided to take the year off. But regardless of what you've chosen to do, I hope that this message finds you well. This has been one crazy year for sure. And I'm sure that some of you are dealing with this situation better than others. Um, it's been tough on a lot of people. So grads of 2020, I want you to remember the three things that I'm about to tell you. And hopefully, if you are struggling, that these three things will help you get by uh, the next few months. And for everybody, hopefully, these three things will help you get by when you're having difficult times in your life. The first thing is always look for the positive in any situation. I know sometimes this is really difficult. Sometimes it seems like there's nothing positive that everything is dark, but you can't stay in that darkness. You have to focus on the positives. And if you look hard enough, you will always find something. When you find it, keep your focus on that and it will get you through those dark times. Number two, speak words of kindness. Just because we wear a mask to stop the spread of COVID does not mean that that mask has to stop the spread of kindness that we can uh, provide to others. If you care about somebody, let them know. If you have something positive, you like somebody's shirt, you know, you like what somebody has said, let them know because that kindness could be the positive thing that they need to get through that day. So always speak words of kindness. And in a world where you can be anything, there's that famous quote, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. And the last thing is never lose hope. Hope that no matter what you're going through now, how difficult it is, how sad you are, how angry, have hope that you will get through it and you will be stronger once you do get through it. So grads, stay safe. I hope you're doing well. You can see my Christmas tree behind me. I love Christmas. If I've taught you before, you know it's my favorite holiday and the holidays are coming up. Uh, so happy holidays as well. And it is my hope that one day when this is all over, I will be able to see you again without a mask on and uh, we can talk and you can tell me all about your life and what you've been going through. And I can't wait for that day to happen. So happy holidays and uh, good luck with what you're doing and stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye. To the uh, grade 12 graduating class, uh, this is uh, 
Joe Gassibi here. You've graduated now, so you can call me Joe if you ever see me in the future. Uh, it's been an honour uh, being your administrator and getting to know you. I know you're already seniors when I met you. Uh, when I first started Forest Hill, you were in grade 11. I still had the pleasure of uh, watching you grow as students and as individuals. Um, I've seen you rise above some of the toughest challenges uh, the world has faced, and you did that successfully. Um, I know you would have learned skills of resiliency and you would have developed some grit, um, which is amazing and it's going to serve you well for your future. Uh, I look forward to the human beings you will become. Please stay in touch. Uh, let me know how you do and send me an email anytime. I miss you. The school misses you. I'm so proud of your accomplishments and I look forward to uh, the human beings you become and the professional endeavours you take. Um, Again, I am so proud to have served as your administrator. Uh, all the best, and thank you for being part of uh, my life journey, and uh, I hope to be part of yours still in the future. Take care of yourselves.